And welcome back to Hannity. So as the left and those in the mainstream media continue to harp on Rudy Giuliani's comments about President Obama, well, we thought of something. Even before he became commander-in-chief, Obama, remember, he surrounded himself with people who had very negative views of America. Here's what I mean. No, no, no. Not God bless America. God damn America. America's chickens are coming home to roost. In terms of the Weather Underground, which I co-founded, yes, we did some extreme things. What we did was slightly off the tracks, there's no question. And it's something that lots of people have found despicable. And then out of nowhere came, hey, I'm Barack Obama. And she said, oh, damn, where did you come from? I'm white. I'm entitled. There's a black man stealing my show. Oh, justice. Joining me now with reaction, creator of 2016, Obama's America, Dinesh D'Souza from National Review. Kevin Williamson, a great piece up today. And Fox News political analyst Juan Williams. Kevin, because you wrote this piece extensively that Rudy's right, explain why you think this is relevant, his past. You know, starting with Frank Marshall Davis, Alinskyite, Acorn, Flager, Wright, Ayers and Dorn. Why does it all matter? Yeah, well, I think that ground has been fairly well covered, and I think we should be spared the sanctimonious piffle about not talking about a man's patriotism when we're talking about a president who explicitly said that his predecessor was unpatriotic. But the question that I really raised today is if you are progressive, if you see the world the way progressives see it, which is the United States is a country animated by white supremacy and economic oligarchy, that the economy is a fraud based on exploitation and deceit, why would you like the country? If you think this is a country that was basically a uh, you know, legacy of white supremacy, slavery, discrimination, bigotry of every sort, that nothing good happened between the Emancipation Proclamation and the New Deal, why would you like the country? And if you read Barack Obama's books, which I have, if you uh, listen to his speeches, the people he surrounds himself with, he doesn't find very much to like about the country, which I think, you know, if you were intellectually honest, if progressives in general were intellectually honest, they would admit that they really actually don't like the country that much. They think it's defective. Juan, um, there is this history. He, you know, go back, Reagan, always extolling America's virtues. Same with Clinton, I mean, even. For, this president goes out of his way repeatedly. You know, even Michelle Obama, for the first time in my adult life, I am proud of my country for the first time, really? Um, and, and, th and as Rudy put into context, that's what he's talking about. Where is extolling America's greatness and goodness and charitable and how we have protected the world from tyranny time and again? I think you must have missed something because Obama says this stuff all the really? time. He, he's even said that America is an exceptional In between country. apologies? Once the people start saying, yeah, like the Greeks are exceptional? exceptional. No, he has said this. No, he, he said, like said, the Greeks are no, exceptional. No, America, the United States. But you know what? You don't focus on it. And Kevin, I, I'm amazed. You think that the only America who can be a patriot has to be dumb, has to be ignorant of history, can't love America despite American history and say, you know what, we've no, there's grown. A we have the capacity for growing. We take people in and make them better. We will take your wretched. Let's get Dinesh in here. Dinesh? Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a uh, difference between Sean. criticizing the country and between what you think the country actually is. And if you think the country represents a society that's basically animated by greed, rapacity, and white supremacy, then there's really not much to like about it. There's no question that if you look at our Constitution, there are elements of racism right in it. So, but the key thing here, and I think you really need to take this to heart, is that people love America and know its history. Okay, let me There's ask no this question. Why, uh, did, well, why did he spend so much time, 20 years with Reverend Wright, Father Flager, domestic, hang on, this is not irrelevant. Domestic terrorist gave speeches, sat on boards with an unrepentant domestic terrorist, Bill Ayers. Why, why would he hang out with those people? So this why, is a profound, why would this, anybody, I want to know, it's pathological to me that somebody what? would hang out with a unrepentant domestic terrorist, I think, like Obama did for years. It wasn't for years. Yes, it was. No, Bill Ayers, he didn't hang out with Started him Started his political he career was, in his house. No, he had a campaign Speeches event. with him. Oh, come on, look, Forrest the reality with him. is that he was involved with people on the political left. Oh, and terrorists. people on the And some of them were, and I think Ayers was, and I, by the way, I just think that it's An admitted not domestic right terrorist. for Michelle Obama to say, you're first time proud of America. That's not right, but I'm telling you, that people on the left have gone over the line, and that's what I think you're doing right. here today by saying, 
to oh, Rudy Dinesh? Giuliani? He's fine. It was uh, okay. He uh, went over the line. Well, Juan, you can say that John, what think you think the, Michelle Obama I, said isn't right, right but that Let's doesn't mean Dinesh it's not here. accurate. Kevin, hang on one sec. Dinesh. I think, Sean, this for me is deja vu. I've written two books and made one movie about what motivates Obama. I don't think it's just about his past. You know, here's a president where if you look on the world stage, he appears to be systematically working to undermine our allies uh, and, to, and to strengthen our enemies. Uh, we were allied with Mubarak in Egypt. Mubarak is out. Mubar uh, Obama then supported the Muslim Brotherhood candidate who came in and replaced him. Gaddafi was doing business with us. Obama killed him. Gaddafi is gone and Libya is in chaos. Our enemies, meanwhile, well, Assad in Syria, uh, the mullahs in Iran, Obama's cutting secret deals with the Iranians. So what I'm getting at is this behavior needs explanation. Uh, now, one explanation is that Obama's a traitor and he hates America. I don't think that's right. But I think what is right is that Obama subscribes to an ideology in which he sees us as the bad guy. We're the evil empire. And Obama's not alone in thinking this. Kevin is right that the progressives in general tend to subscribe to this Obama ideology. And so in a sense, what Giuliani has done in touching a nerve is tapped, if you will, the strain of seeing America as the bad guy that not just Obama believes, the whole American left believes it. Let me just say quickly say to you, Dinesh, that if you missed out, Gaddafi was killing people on that Pan Am flight. He was killing Americans. So it's in our interest to take him out. And secondly, when you talk about Mubarak, you must have missed the entire Arab Spring. Those were Muslims. Those were people in that country who were seeking freedom Why and were support supported by the United States of America and our president. But, How you turn out against Obama, I he, don't know. Minute, but he's making a secret deal with the Iranians against our ally Israel, and Netanyahu has become the enemy. Uh, meanwhile, what? it's not. Well, How is excuse the me, United excuse States me, the and Israel are key allies. The, we have tensions. I, and but he has undermined, God. to a degree, the relations have never been worse. And as he's, we even have Obama aides, campaign aides, campaigning against Bibi. We have John <laughs> Kerry and Joe Biden meeting with oh, Bibi's opponent. You want, you want to know who's making deals behind the president's back and creating political division over support for Israel and the United States? Netanyahu. Netanyahu, why? Because he's speaking to Congress? Yeah, because, because this is going to be a bad deal that gives oh, yeah. Iranian power? No, no, no. He can say anything he likes. Nuclear Nuclear but he is taking advantage of political divisions in the United States to benefit himself and his campaign? That, you no, talk about it's for his is, country, which is going to be Woo. threatened by a bad deal that would allow the Iranians to get nukes as evidenced by U University of uh, Massachusetts at Amherst wasn't going to teach Iranian students nuclear science, but the Obama administration, Kevin, stepped in, and in fact, now they're going to teach them a nuclear science. It seems yeah, that know, time after uh... time, it seems that time after time what Obama does is he, he seems to be almost clinical in when he looks at our enemies like ISIS, he's always qualifying it. The Taliban is not terrorist. The Islamic radicals aren't really Islamic. And then he makes equations with Christianity as if, as if to say, listen, don't be too indignant in condemning those guys because we've done the same thing. So w the effect of Obama's rhetoric is to minimize the offenses of those guys and to put the spotlight on right. us as the bad guy. Guys, thank you very much for being with us. Appreciate it. And uh, one good to see you on the five today. Hey, good, good to be here. Thank you. All right, coming up, the Pentagon releases details of Iraq's plan to take back Mosul from ISIS fighters. So why did they do this? Jennifer Griffin, she's standing by at the Pentagon. She has details. Plus, we go to the front lines in the war against radical Islamists and ISIS. Jordan Matson, U.S. Army veteran, Christian. He is in Syria fighting alongside Kurdish militia against ISIS to defeat them. He'll join us next from an undisclosed location in Syria. And it has been a very bad week for Hillary Clinton. Why the past is now coming back to haunt her. Ainsley Earhart is here with a report and much more tonight on Hannity.